All right, this is that fly cutter that shows up in that one video. We're milling this uh, cylinder head. There's some few questions about it, so I just wanted to talk about it real quick. What you can see is I took a shaft, a piece of uh, three quarter, milled a flat on it, and then welded. If I can get in there and look at it, I welded this uh, tool bit, large lathe tool bit to it, carbide and shape the end and I, I did it in such a way that uh, gives me a it's a three inch radius so if you can see that put a roller under there um, a little less than three nah, I think it is three inches to the end I'm not shaking too much here sorry about that just trying to get in close and that gives me a six inch uh, total sweep over a piece of material the thing works great um, just you know crank up the uh, I mean, I, I was pulling, uh, oh, I don't know, 50 thousandths, and I know in the one video, it was uh, inch and eighth uh, feed and uh, 400 RPM, and it really did a nice job. I've used this for a few things. Of course, this was cast iron, but I've even used it on steel. It works pretty well. It puts a little lubricant. Of course, on aluminum, didn't have any trouble either. So, just want to throw that out there. Uh, here's the other side of it. <clears throat> If you can see there you can see a little more weld I hope you can see that I'm um, not the best welder but it worked that was with a I believe I did that with the uh, I was with the MIG but using uh, you can see a little splatter marks on it I believe I used the uh, flux core because I am out of gas so I'm using flux core right now and hey it's not bad all right there you go Thanks for watching.